Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC featherweight division title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Big Train. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Dynamite. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He ate that 
kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh! Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Head kick is blocked. He now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to do it. And that's gonna do it. He's done, he's done. <laughs> oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Dynamite! All right, so the path to UFC featherweight golden glory still goes through this man, and after watching that knockout here tonight in defense of his title, it's hard to envision one of these current featherweights giving him a true run for his money. I mean, we have the most talented featherweight division in the entire world, and this man is ruling the top it like he is some king from the olden uh -huh. days. No one has come close to taking his belt away from him, and I don't know if there's anybody on the horizon that's going to be able to do that.
round. I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That punch damaged him, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. We're gonna hit the max and do some rolling. BJJ drills all day. You ready? Let's see. Come on, work there. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Come on now, get after it. That's on point. You got thirty. Let's go. Good job in there. Nice roll today. Good hustle and good grinding. Wrestling basics. Attack the legs, work for that takedown, and get your opponent to the ground. Sound good? Okay then, let's go. Good, good, he can't get you down. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Keep going.
got 30 seconds. Let's go. Nice work today. That was some... Ready? Let's go. That's the way. Good, good. Moving on to the next one. Good job. I love it. Thirty to go. Show me. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. I love it. Excellent. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. Great! All right, 30 seconds left. Hey, great job in there. Beautiful kicks with high volume. Nobody can stand up to that.
Okay, I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. Listen for my instructions, all right? Let's go! Okay, this is how we train to win the belt. Next opponent is going to be no match for you. All right, thirty seconds left. opponent is not going to be able to keep up with you. Good work, kid. Let's keep hitting. All right, coming up next, our matchup for the UFC featherweight title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it.
Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Volkanovski is eight years his senior. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 35 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, one loss. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so match your fans my fans. for him to defend it again and potentially stamp himself the greatest 145-pound fighter this octagon has ever seen. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice punch by Volkanovski. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Very tricky when he throws that body. Just missed with the left there. Nice leg kick land. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Useful trip to get the takedown here in the clinch. Trying to set up a submission now. Crazy accurate. 
we're seeing efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Look at him drive his hands into the whole body with that body kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Circling to his right. Volkanovski's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. And both guys really throwing with authority. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the turtle in that kick. After that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. advantage as he landed the jab there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick lands. Go to the body here, unable to find the toe. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whipping like this, it's only exhaustion. Because every dude's oh, hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's gonna try to take him. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, hard not to feel good for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, not only getting the job done here tonight, but getting the finish as well. A huge submission and one of the bigger performances of his UFC career.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a dark choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so there he is, came in the champion, and he will exit that way as well. The UFC's king at 145 pounds. This dude might be the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He may just be the best fighter across all divisions inside the octagon. His skill set is so complete that he makes these great fighters look as if they don't belong in there with him. Tonight was another classic performance by this gentleman.